Hey everyone, it's Sean and I'm super excited today because I have found what I think is the best way to watch news on your Surface or Windows 10 tablet. Uh, this is called Reuters TV, it's brand new. When I first heard about Reuters TV, I was actually really bummed because they only have iOS and Android apps and as of yet they don't have anything on the Windows Store for the Surface, but you can actually get a full Windows 10 touchscreen experience for Reuters TV and I'm about to show you how. So you can actually access Reuters TV through your browser. Any browser will work. I actually prefer Google Chrome because Google Chrome allows you to go full screen. Uh, as of this video, I don't think you could do that in Microsoft Edge. So in order to go full screen, just uh, do exactly what I'm showing here. Hit the menu button and then there's this little square box. Hit that and that gets rid of your taskbar. That gets rid of your bar up above. So it's just a full immersive experience. And in my opinion, Reuters TV, what they're doing is really awesome because sometimes you might only have five minutes to watch news. Sometimes you want something more in depth and you want maybe 20, 15, 20, 30 minutes of news. So what this platform allows you to do is it allows you to select how much time you have and it automatically prioritizes the news based on how much time you have and that is awesome. Now what I love is that their website is fully touch compatible. I can swipe, I can uh, open up the menu, I can navigate within the menu using touch. I don't have to mess around with my keyboard, with my mouse. It is absolutely beautiful. It is immersive for the tablet interface and I feel like more and more websites need to do what Reuters TV is doing. It is absolutely awesome. So I don't feel like I'm missing out at all. Uh, with not having an app for the Surface uh, through the Windows Store. I think it would be awesome to have a, an app, and I hope that they make one, but the website is absolutely fantastic. It does a great job. But what are some of the things that you can do? Well, uh, if you start listening to an article and you decide, okay, I've heard enough about that, I wanna skip to the next one, super easy, you just uh, swipe up, and then, of course, you're on to the next article. Of course, you can also uh, open up the menu and select which uh, news article you want to listen to and watch. Uh, also, you can actually go into categories and you can see all the different news categories. For example, let's say you want to really hone in on uh, politics or sports or in my case I love to listen to and watch technology news. So you can actually go into technology news, uh, see what's new. There's also this really nice live section so you can see uh, what programs recently went live, any live events. Uh, you can also go and see uh, what's some upcoming live events. So what Reuters TV prides himself in is not this really uh, high production, kind of something you'd see on uh, other major news networks, but what they really pride themselves in is the raw experience. So they have, I guess, something around 2,500 journalists from all over the world that just go out and start recording live news with their phones uh, as stuff happens. So very little editing, very little post-production, very little like kind of theatrically put together news. And it's just like raw, up to the minute news. So another thing I really love about Reuters TV is that it's got a really nice feel to it. It's really modern, it's really beautiful, everything flows really nicely. It just, it just feels good. So uh, I would definitely check it out if you're a news junkie like me. If you're watching, obviously if you're watching this video, you must be. And uh, yeah, go ahead. I've got a link in my description where you can click it. Uh, if you do have an iOS or Android device, uh, you can go ahead and uh, download the app. Uh, otherwise, you can just go straight to the Reuters TV webpage, uh, start watching it, go full screen, that's what I would do. Uh, by the way, if you want to get out of full screen, you just double tap and then do exit full screen. So that's in Chrome. And by the way, if you want to, uh, you can always just save this to your desktop or pin it to your start menu uh, by going into the menu and clicking save to uh, more tools, save to desktop. And that way you can open it up on your desktop or in your start menu as if it was just an app on your Surface or tablet. Uh, works beautifully. So yeah, I there you go. In my opinion, this is the best way to watch news uh, on your Windows 10 tablet or for that matter iOS or Android devices as well. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and thank you very much for watching.